I Love, Alas, I Love Thee by Thomas Morley, who is pretty much as close as you can get to the epitome of an Elizabethan working musician. In fact, his lifespan almost exactly matches the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. He was born in about 1557-58 and he died in 1602. He was active in the music at St Paul's Cathedral and we have him on record as being one of the very few composers to have set the texts of William Shakespeare during the playwright's lifetime. Morley also set his own verse to music, and you might have been wondering in that madrigal, who are Amaryllis and Phyllis? Well, the simplest way to answer that is that they are part of what you might call the Renaissance classical extended universe. In the same way that William Blake took Jesus for a little walk on Salisbury Plain in Jerusalem, poets of the 16th century would mine classical mythology for stock characters, in this case, nymphs and shepherds, and instead of having them in Arcadia, which is a part of Greece, they'd be prancing around the English countryside. Amaryllis and Phyllis are nymphs, and we can take it for granted that the narrator of this madrigal is probably Corridon or Amintus or one of the shepherds who were always going around well you can't really call it chasing skirt because a nymph wouldn't wear one. We're bringing you a new madrigal every Monday in May so like and subscribe so you don't miss a single one. If you like what you've heard do share and if you can you might want to consider donating to support our singers during this time. The link to do that will come up at the end of the video. Thanks very much and stay safe.